So I understand the importance of movement-based training, and I also understand the importance of animal-based training. Yeah. This is very critical. So what I want to do is introduce you to some unique Australian animal movements that form uh, the basis of very powerful and very effective training because it's functional. And it's based on animal movement, therefore it's great. So the first one I want, I want, I want everyone to get up and this is a, the starting shape. Now, what you do is you jump forwards and you jump forwards. Now, this is called the kangaroo exercise. It's a kangaroo movement. And as an advancement, you can twitch your nose like this because that's what kangaroos do. So just remember, um, it's best to do it in sets of four reps and it's important for your ground contact time to be, let me think the last time I saw a kangaroo, um, yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Now the second one I want you to be aware of is, is, is what's called the crocodile. So in Australia, we don't just have alligators, we have crocodiles, I and mean, they eat people. So it's a very important movement because it, it would mean it would transfer to be able to eat people in the real world. Like metaphorically speaking, you'd be able to eat the world, like take the world on. And they've also lived since you know dinosaur time. So if you develop this movement, it'll, it's probably correlated to your longevity in life. So it's really important. So, I want everybody to get down the ground like this. Now, first of all, you have to stay underwater for a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> then, you've got to wait till the sun's in the right place at the right time. And I'm going to show you how to come out of the water. Because you've got to lie in the sand and warm your body temperature up. And this is a critical part, and it'll transfer to, to land-based training, of course. So the first part is about coming up, and you make fingers with your eyes like this. You make eyes. You make sure there's no one around. And when you're comfortable with that, this, this, is, this, is, this technical component is really critical. You lift your arm up at 33 degrees and you drop it at 94 degrees. Now notice you don't have all fingers on the ground, just the first four, your thumb is up. And then you lift, you throw your weight to the other side. And the center of gravity distribution is really important here. And then you do one more, and then you do one more. Now, you'll notice that my final phase, I'm not balanced. My left and right arm aren't in alignment. So a critical way to finish the set is you have to bring both hands up. Now remember, this will transfer to, to being a dominant human in life. Now, that's the second one. Now, the third one is the koala movement. Now, as you know, koalas are really popular in Australia. A lot of people come to Australia and get koalas. Now, this is how it works. You basically, you basically wrap yourself up like this, You've got to find someone to sit upon, and then you urinate. <laughs> because that's the koala movement. 